Okay, we're sitting back here with our friend Elliot Friedman. Elliot, as you know, has uh, lots of lines and lots of phone calls and lots of information and insight. And lots of well. lots of made-up stuff. We don't acknowledge that, Elliot. <laughs> we just pretend like you have it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about as it relates to Bab Watch, but we don't want to do just Bab Watch. We want to talk about a couple of coaching situations. Let's start with the news of coming out of Edmonton today. Todd McClellan, no surprise there, is going to be the head coach. Gene Principe tweeted out the uh, time tomorrow, 2 o'clock Alberta time, will be the media conference or formally announcing him. Uh, now, I think one of the biggest questions now becomes what's the future of Todd Nelson and, you know, is there a discussion here about whether or not he wants to be an assistant coach for the Oilers? There's been some talk that he doesn't want to do that. He wants to run his own bench. You've talked in the past about how the Edmonton Oilers wanted to be sure they got the right person for the job. And they, while, of course, there'd be interest in a guy like Mike Babcock, they didn't want to wait for him and maybe lose out on him and Todd. So they made a jump to make a decision quickly. What about Mike Babcock? Because there was a couple of different dates that were set up as the deadline. Well, I still think it's going to be Wednesday when we find out. He told a reporter from uh, Detroit tonight, Ansar Khan, that uh, he is going to talk to his family tomorrow, talk to the Red Wings one more time tomorrow, and announce his decision on Wednesday. Um, so it's as far as we know, the teams that have spoken to him are San Jose, St. Louis, Toronto, and Buffalo, along with Detroit. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a pretty crazy 24 to 48 hours. The one thing in here that's pretty interesting is we don't know yet about Ken Hitchcock in St. Louis, and I wonder as that drags on, we wait for an announcement if St. Louis is a bigger player here than we realize. Looking forward for the more creative headlines to come out of the city of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania when they try to do the Hextall Hextall <laughs> uh, comparison. But Lou Lamarillo usually has the belt for not letting anything slip out. But maybe Ron Hextall is a, is, is a contender to the throne. Ron Hextall was all, all Donnie Brasco on this one. Like <laughs> nobody had a sniff. Hextall was deep, deep, deep undercover. You know, one of the people who said really nice things about Hextall today, the coach was Craig Simpson working this game tonight. His son played at North Dakota, and Simpson was really praiseworthy about how he prepared him for a pro career. Something Glenn Healy said before the uh, period ended was how the New York Rangers are really comfortable playing at one-goal games and with a final 20 of regulation on the way, they find themselves in the same spot.